In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for PbOH2, lead to hydroxide. Pb, lead, that's a metal, and then O and H, those are nonmetals, they're bound together tightly in what we call a polyatomic ion. It's called the hydroxide ion. Because we have a metal and nonmetals, this is an ionic compound, and the metal will transfer electrons to the nonmetals. We can see from the name lead 2 that lead has a 2 plus charge. And then we can look up the hydroxide ion on a table of common polyatomic ions. It has a 1 minus charge. So 2 times the 1 minus, that gives this a 2 minus charge, and that cancels out the 2 plus. So it's a neutral compound. We'll write Pb, and then we'll put OH on either side. We said that Pb was 2 plus, and then the hydroxide ion, that was the minus charge. So this 2 plus, that means that lead had two valence electrons. It transferred one here and then one here. Since it lost those negative charges, it becomes positive, and then these become negative. Let's replace this with a Lewis structure for OH minus. Next, we'll put brackets around the hydroxide ion. And that makes this the Lewis structure for PbOH2. The positives here, they're going to be attracted to the negatives, and that's what makes our ionic bond. Understand that this is what's called a formula unit. Lead 2 hydroxide is a crystal, and it's made up of a pattern of repeating formula units. This is useful, though, because it shows us how the electrons have been transferred and the Lewis structure of those formula units of lead 2 hydroxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.